This episode is sponsored by Best Buy. Hey guys, it's Carl. So I've been using my iPhone 15 Pro Max now for close to two months. It's been my daily device. I thought I'd do an update to what's on my iPhone. I know a lot of you ask uh, what apps that I'm rocking. So you'll kind of see my home screen here. Uh, you'll see it's rocking a custom icon pack that I created a couple years ago. I'll leave a link down below. All the icons work. Um, it's kind of a two-tone look, the obviously black and white with the orange on bottom. And now that you can customize your homepage, I think it makes it pretty unique. The most important thing maybe if you're rocking a Pro model, make sure you update to iOS 17.1. It improves a lot of the overheating issues with the Pro models, as well as the battery life has gotten way better since I updated. So that's uh, the first thing that you should do. And going on to the second page, this is where the majority of my apps that I've been using kind of live. The first stack is my social media folder. So this is the majority of the time that I spent on my phone, usually uh, through Instagram, Reddit, uh, even X, Twitter for all you old school users and obviously TikTok. It's an unhealthy amount of time kind of switching between uh, all of them, but um, I guess uh, that's kind of picking your poison. Moving on to the next one. This is my finance app or the finance stack where I manage not only uh, personal finances, but stuff uh, on the channel as well. Well, simple is what I use to manage all of my stocks. I know that the stock market has been very unkind in the last couple of years, but uh, it's more around uh, time in the market. Definitely not a financial advisor, so don't take any financial advice from me. I've lost a little bit of money there. So uh, that is my finances stack. Switching on to the first app, which is the Best Buy mobile app. So it's the holiday season right around the corner. This is like your one-stop shop for all things tech. So they have a flash sale section as well as a holiday section, the daily top deal section. So if you're in the market for anything um, tech related, whether that's uh, video games, you're eyeing to upgrade to a smartphone, they've got deals all throughout the site. As an example, as as I scroll down, you can see a couple deals here that are kicking just on the main page, save 500 bucks on a big screen TV, get $300 gift card when you buy a unlocked OnePlus open phone. That's just on this page. And once again, you can shop by category. They literally have everything. I know that with Black Friday around the corner, this is probably the spot to go. So make sure you stay posted and you're always uh, refreshing your app to see what deals are kicking on. So the next app, I actually just came back from a trip from Hawaii. If you are an iPhone user, spend the money, get like a $30 air tag. I stuck them in all my luggage. It's the Find My app. So I have like the worst luck when traveling, like uh, whether it's uh, plane delays. This time around, my luggage got stuck in San Francisco. So I did YYZ Toronto, San Francisco to Maui. My golf bag along with all my other uh, clothes was stuck in San Francisco. They were convinced that my bag made it to Maui, just went to the Find My app. Clearly it was stuck in San Francisco, didn't have my clothes or golf stuff for two days. Thankfully United reimbursed me something, but uh, just keeping an eye on all of your air tags. It's just super vital. Next app, we'll switch to streaming services. So uh, Fubo TV, if you're Canadian, this is where I watch all my Premier League stuff. I'm a big football or soccer fan. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know this. I used to play like in Holland. PSV Eindhoven uh, used to play um, on their academy team for a couple years. So um, that's a little tidbit around uh, soccer football that a lot of people don't know. Switching on to the next app is the Premier League app. So I do play a lot of fantasy uh, football or fantasy Premier League. We are 10 game weeks in from the uh, point that this uh, video is created. I did create a YouTube league. I'll leave my little code if any of you want to join uh, midway through the season, but huge, huge fan. Speaking of fantasy, also a big F1 fan with uh, the F1 season kind of closing off. It's the Mexican Grand Prix this weekend. Um, so once again, just another fantasy thing that I follow and also just checking all the news and highlights on F1. My main streaming app that I've been using uh, when I was traveling, I've just been watching Prime Video. I finished off uh, Star Wars on Disney Plus onto Prime Video for the All or Nothing series. I've been watching the Tottenham Hotspurs one. I know that Man City also has one, so you're kind of picking your poison on the streaming services on Apple TV Plus, which is what I'll probably rotate to next. I really liked uh, Severance. I know that they're working on uh, season two. That was probably my favorite show that I watched maybe this year, end of like last year. It was like so good. So good. Switching apps to uh, something called Splitwise. So this is actually great if you are uh, with groups of people or if you are splitting a bill, no matter uh, what or how simple it is. Uh, if you're out for dinner, if you are going on a group trip, if someone uh, is owing you rent. For example, uh, my buddy uh, lives here in the studio. We kind of manage what um, is spent for hydro, for electricity, for uh, internet, 
for rent money and you can kind of divide it evenly. You can create uh, the splitwise group with multiple people, with groups of two, three, four, and at the end of a trip or at the end of a bill, you can settle up and you can kind of see who owes uh, what person money. It's super handy, it's free. There's also a premium version, which I've never had to buy. Going on to my music streaming service, uh, no surprises there, Spotify. I'm a big fan of just listening to some of the pre-made sets uh, that Spotify has to offer. Chill tracks being probably my most Played, and I will give Spotify some huge uh, kudos for being, you know, a makeshift DJ. The transitions between songs has gotten a lot better. Switching on to some sports stuff. So I was just out in Maui, like I said. I am trying to play more golf, even though I suck. But for any of you golfers out there, I used to uh, manage my score. It's the Grint. Because I don't wear a smartwatch or an Apple watch, the Grint is kind of what I use to track my play. It also updates live uh, via GPS. You can kind of see the distance from the uh, ball placement to the pin. Not that I'm good enough to say shoot like a 125 yard shot, but it gives me my club of choice. You can also see uh, my nasty handicap, 26.7, which is absolutely terrible, but you can add friends, you can uh, see what they shoot, and you can kind of uh, keep track of your golf game um, if you are into that, and hopefully, you're better than me. Switching to the next app, I know a lot of you have asked uh, when I create, you know, what's on my phone videos or I get a new device uh, like the OnePlus Open, like the new uh, Pixel device, I usually change the background. So this is the main app that I use. It's called Backdrops. A lot of the wallpapers are free to download. Once again, they have a premium section if you want to check out, but I find that they're uh, super dope, super simple backgrounds that are better than what the uh, stock manufacturers usually have. I will give kudos. I am rocking the stock app background right now because it matches the titanium of the phone but uh, if you kind of go through backdrops they've got a ton to choose from and uh, they look pretty good for being free the next app once again Apple specific I think it's actually the most used iPhone slash Apple app that I have it's just the simple one called reminders I find it so easy to uh, forget things. So when I use reminders, I just create these little to-do lists. And what's great, they sync across all your devices. So not only on my iPhone, on my Mac, on my iPad. So for example, on my to-do list, we've got this one, Best Buy Integration, which is uh, the best apps list. But also I have to do an Audi voiceover. I have to invoice Amazon. And once I'm done that, I can just check off these like to-do lists. And then I know that I've caught up for the day. So it's super simple. And the main reason why I use this, it's just that seamlessness across all Apple devices. It's just kind of easy, so it updates across uh, my MacBook, my iPhone, and my iPad. Simple and free if you're in the Apple ecosystem. So switching off to the next app, um, some of my friends, especially uh, Kat, my, my wife, now my wife, not my girlfriend, uh, they always bug me on this. I'm a big Vivino app user. So this is just an app to scan your wine, you know, I like to enjoy a nice bottle of wine when I eat dinner. This gives a ranking for your wine or you can see what score it got on this app. And it's so easy, you can just take a picture of the barcode or the label, I should say, on the bottle of wine and it gives you the score of the wine by other Vivino users. You can see how many people have rated it and the approximate price of the wine. So um, it's um, this weird little thing, obviously you don't um, need to get this if you don't drink, but if you are a wine lover, definitely check out Vivino. Next, switching on to an app which has been around forever, like uh, Pinterest has been around for the, the longest time. I feel like it's making a bit of a resurgence. So I think a lot of you know, currently building a house right now, I use Pinterest uh, or create these Pinterest boards which I share with both my architect, uh, my builder, and um, all the people involved in that process as well as Kat so we can get ideas of what uh, the aesthetic of the inside as well as the outside of the house should look like. The only sad thing is uh, you see all these really nice things and then when you realize like the pricing, like house stuff is so expensive, it seems that like all the stuff I like is just the most expensive, but um, you can dream, you can pin it, you can look at it on Pinterest um, and hopefully afford it one day. Next off, uh, switching back to smartphones. Like I said, it's Techtober, Tech November right now. So Geekbench 5, it's usually what I use to benchmark all my phones. So I'll run a quick score on the iPhone right now so you can see uh, what the overall score is. It's just a great way if you are really techy to see how your phone does uh, in terms of performance and if you are someone that uh, likes to compare phones, likes to 
test them out uh, benchmark wise, this is the spot to go. The next app that I use um, all the time personally because I am always traveling. So um, I always suggest if you are a frequent flyer, stick with a particular airline, use it or stick within that alliance. So for example, since I'm in Canada, Air Canada is probably the only airline that you can use. Maybe if you live on the West Coast, WestJet is the thing. But uh, because of the frequency, I have to suffer through Air Canada, all the delays. But um, with this, you get access to obviously your Air Canada account. You collect uh, points, you can uh, get lounge access, and you can hopefully reach a specific tier or status. Switching to some games. So sadly enough, I've got the 15 Pro Max, the fastest phone that Apple makes. And the sad part is I spend my time playing Candy Crush. Like I've got this weird addiction to a game that has been out like since the advent of iPhones or phones in general, this app or this game has been around forever. I'm somehow playing Candy Crush again. Like how's that even a thing? It is, I need some help. I'm playing a level right now as we're recording this video. Just so many levels, so many candies to crush. Okay, I'm stopping. Did not beat that level. Level 545, if any of you are wondering, it's a Candy Crush addiction. Uh, the next game, which obviously tests this phone a lot better, so it's FC Mobile. Uh, they've changed the name from uh, FIFA, FC Football Club. Um, it's okay, I don't play it as much as Candy Crush, but since I am a big uh, football fan, it's nice to see that next gen, I'll say like next gen gaming, mobile gaming has come such a far away. This is like playing uh, back on, I'd say like even like the Xbox 360, Xbox One, like the graphics on mobile gaming has gotten so good. A soccer mobile game is something that I like to play. Um, I can actually pretend Man United is like half decent, even though we just lost to Man City today, three nothing, but it is uh, what it is. And the last app um, that I actually just had downloaded at that uh, Snapdragon event that I was at is this Cvent app. It essentially just gave me a map in my entire itinerary to the entire conference, um, specific to that, but I'm sure I'll use that maybe for CES uh, in the new year. Um, and that, as I end this recording, is the best apps that I'm rocking currently uh, on my iPhone. So let me know if there's any apps that I'm missing. Um, best of luck uh, shopping wise in the holiday season. Make sure you check out what's going on on Best Buy. Hopefully you snag a sweet tech deal and I will catch the rest of you in one of uh, my next vids. Peace.